Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Debbie and usually I'm reading a lot of books or binge watching a series. But what I haven't really talked about on here is the fact that I love stationery. I really do like notebooks. Um, <laughs> so I thought I'd go through a few of the notebooks that I've been given recently because I got given some for Christmas, I got given some for my birthday, so I've got a nice little collection of books here. So I thought I'd kind of go through them starting off with ones that I'm currently using and then showing you the ones that I will be using in the future. So to start off on the top, this one is completely full. Um, I use this when I've been researching my family tree. So on every single page of this is research of names, things I found on the census, trying to work out who I'm related to. Um, I have, I'm, as we're talking, I am currently awaiting my um, DNA kit results. Um, I got given a DNA kit for my birthday, I received it just before my birthday, so I got it sent off. So I should have it by the end of this month, which is February. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. But yeah, that is one notebook completely full of just family tree research. That's on my dad's side, on the Bartlett side, because we don't know much about them because um, my dad's dad died when he was really little so we don't really know much about the Bartlett side so that's been interesting to look up and then on my mum's side my uh, grandma was born in Barbados so I've been looking along the uh, Gail which was my grandma's maiden name I have been looking down that tree going back to the origins of Barbados looking at the uh, English settlers in Barbados list it's so cool and I can't wait to get more information out of my DNA kit uh, not sponsored at all. I'm just really really interested in it. So yeah, that is Notebook number one. Next one is a new notebook for family tree stuff. I'm not that much into it though. I've got about that much family tree stuff But when I saw it, I just thought this seems like such a great family tree notebook because it's Maps. Yeah, I just thought this was so cool. I mean, I have no, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, I don't really have much of my family in London and the English side of my family is mainly from Dorset. But I just saw this and just thought it's really pretty. As you can see, it's kind of blue and gold. I looked at it and just thought that is my next family tree notebook. That is my next family tree notebook. I thought it was beautiful and I've been marking stuff with a pen. So it actually came with one of my other notebooks. But yeah, so that's uh, Family tree number two. The next one I used while I was in counselling. So uh, on here, in here I've got a little, basically how I check in with myself. Um, so it starts off with all my sessions from when I had uh, CBT, which is Cognitive Behavioural Therapy. I ended up in counselling and CBT uh, in, during the pandemic actually, it was in 2020. Um, I'd been on the waiting list since before Christmas that year, I think it was about November that I got put on the waiting list and then it was, this, I think it was around April actually, it doesn't tell me because, oh it was June, why did I think it was April? <laughs> June was my first ever session, uh, June 2020 and so I've got my little diary just kind of talking about what my problem was and targets and uh, going through the anxiety questionnaires and everything, uh, timelines of kind of what I thought was kind of part of the root of my problem, that kind of thing. And then I've continued using it to check in with myself. Um, I don't do it as often as I probably should, uh, but I've just done one uh, this past week and I'm hoping to get back on to a more regular schedule with it because I do feel better once I've done my questionnaire check in with myself and then I use however many pages I need to have like a diary and just write in what I'm feeling, what I'm going through and it's just a really nice way to kind of check in with myself when I am feeling myself sliding a little bit or if I feel like I need to check in with my mental health a little bit and I thought this was the perfect diary to use because it's be yourself everyone else is already taken quote from Oscar Wilde so when I saw that I just thought that seemed the perfect one to start off being my check in with myself diary. Next one I think is going to be the next one that I use once I've built up that one because as I said this has got because this is let's see, a couple of years worth of stuff but I wasn't doing it every single day or even every single week 
Um, but once I've filled up that one, I'll be using this one, which is a word after a word after a word is power, a quote by Margaret Atwood. I love Margaret Atwood. She's written some of my favourite books. Um, but yeah, so that's just an empty notebook now. I'm going into the empty notebooks, but I thought these ones with just really powerful quotes on them, I just thought it just gives you a little something. <laughs> As you can see, I tried to kind of mix up my background because I thought it was quite plain by perhapsing <laughs> a uh, scarf that I've been wearing recently <laughs> over the back. Uh, probably looks like snap, doesn't it? But I'll leave it there for now. Uh, the next one is one that suits me to a T. My name is Deborah. It means the bee, and I live up to my name, Busy Bee. So I saw this, I think it was at TK Maxx actually, and I fell in love with it. It's actually where that pen came from. But yeah, this is just says Busy Bee on the front, and it's just lined notebook. Uh, the big family tree one has dates at the top so that you can enter like what date you were doing stuff. Because of how I'm using it, I don't write the date. Um, and these ones uh, that I've just shown you are lined with, with no, nothing else on it as well, but yeah. Not quite sure what I'm going to use that for yet, but I think it's going to be something probably along the lines of checking in with myself um, as I go down the road because it's me. Busy Bee is me. Right, the next one I got given for my birthday. I think both of these were my birthday um, from my friend Jenny. This one says right here, right now. So um, I want to get back in with my writing because uh, I really do adore writing. Um, I've written like short stories and poems and plays before. I do have uh, a published, a self-published play on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the bottom if you want to read it. <laughs> uh, I'm terrible at self promo um, But yeah, so I thought right here, right now, that gives me a bit of an incentive for writing. So I think that might be if I have any ideas um, for any stories or poems or anything like that. I think that's going to be what that would be for. Next one says, you are enough just as you are. Again, I think this might end up being kind of like a personal notebook, one that I kind of use for like checking in on myself and diary type thing. And then the next one is one that my uh, mum and dad brought back from Barbados for me. They've just had a nice little holiday to Barbados to see family. As I said, I've got family over there. So that's why they go. <laughs> I'm hoping to join on join in on a uh, Barbados holiday soon because it's been a long time since I've been to Barbados and it's a beautiful island. Uh, yeah, this is the Barbados Journal from the Market, Paintings and Recipes by Venita Commission. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that surname. And I've got a label on the front on the back that I need to get rid of. But yeah, it's it's a beautiful notebook. So you've got I can't see. You can see that. So you've got your lines, you've got beautiful pictures through there. And then I remember so often they have like little recipes, like little Caribbean recipes that you can kind of put together. I, I this might just be where I write down my recipes because I love cooking. I love cooking. I'm not a baker, my sister's a baker. I'm the, I like cooking, like every meal starts with chilli, garlic, possibly a bit of ginger in a pan. I love the smell of that when it, when I start cooking. But yeah, thanks to the Caribbean blood in me. And <laughs> I've always been taught how to kind of cook the Caribbean way, we'll say. But yeah, I think this would be a nice one to kind of write down my recipes. <laughs> not that I really have them, I think it changes nearly every single time I cook, but it always still tastes delicious. I'm, I'm going to say it, I'm a good cook <laughs> and people like when I cook. People request meals from me, so I make a mean homemade uh, bolognese. As in, not a store-bought bolognese, I will make my own bolognese sauce from whatever I have in the fridge and, and the cupboards. Uh, so, yeah, that's me. <laughs> But yeah, that was the last notebook I've got here. I do have old diaries and stuff under my bed, but I've got storage inside my bed rather than under it. Um, it lifts up and I do not have the energy to lift my bed up right now. <laughs> so I'm not going to show you the stuff that's under my bed, but this is what I've got out. And yeah, it's just a small collection of notebooks at the moment. It has been bigger. But yeah, if you like notebooks, I hope you enjoyed that video. Sometimes it's nice just to look at pretty things. <laughs> I like my pretty things but yeah so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not already i'm hoping to do kind of a bit more of a variation on kind of what i do do on this channel do do <laughs> i'm such a child <laughs> uh, 
uh, yeah, because obviously I'm usually kind of alternating between reading books and singing and talking about what I'm binge watching and I'm kind of hoping to kind of branch out a little bit. I did used to talk about other stuff as well and I know that this is considered old school YouTube. It's what I grew up with and I like it. So I'm hoping that other people out there still like old fashioned YouTube. Uh, people just talking to a camera. Stay safe everybody. Bye my lovelies.